When you take any kind of lesson on a craft, the first thing they always talk about is the importance of knowing and finding your voice. But what does that even mean? And how do you go about finding your voice? So today, we are going to give you a general idea of what voice is, what voice isn't, and how you can find yours. We're also gonna talk about when you should use your own unique voice and when actually mimicking other people's unique voice can make you a lot of money as a writer. First off, it reflects who you are and how you exist in this world. The second thing, your voice is not trying to be someone else, although we will talk later about how actually using someone else's voice can be a great way to make money as a writer. But your own unique voice is not trying to mimic someone else. It's not trying to take someone else's essence. You aren't going to sit and develop your voice by trying to be Mark Twain. Third and finally, your unique voice, it's open, it's honest, and it's real. And now it might not be quite ready for you to be open, honest, and real publicly, but at the very least, as you're refining your voice in your journal, you wanna be as open, honest, and real as you can. Whoever you already are, that is coming across in your writing already, so it's just about refining it. And a journaling is such a great place to put that down and start defining it for yourself. Another great way to develop your own unique voice is to actually read a lot and a variety of books. Now, if you're trying to branch out, we got you. At the end of every episode of the School for Writers podcast, we have a book rec just for you. And we try to make it as varietal as possible. So check that out. And you can also follow us at School for Writers on Instagram and look at our IGTV where we post just the book rec on its own every Saturday. So we have a whole recommendation of books for you right there. And another amazing, great, wonderful way to develop your unique voice as a writer is to write a book. If you are feeling stuck, here are some questions to ask yourself. There's some great questions to take to your actual journal and answer them in your journal. So first, how do I identify culturally, politically, socially, etc.? Your identity plays so much into your voice, so really defining it will help you define your voice. Asking yourself what you want to say about your life experience. That's such a profound question. Like, what do I want to say? What do I want my voice to be? What do I want it to sound like? How do I want it to come across? Also, you can ask a friend to describe you, or you would ask a writing coach or someone like me to just help you describe your voice. That way you can help hone in on what other people are seeing as well. So that's the importance of finding your own unique voice. 